introduction of the Tour de France came in 1981, when a young cyclist named Jonathan Boyer was the first to ride it. Boyer moved to France in 1974. He took a six-week crash course in French and was hired as a rider by a French team. Boyer has since retired from the Tour de France after a personal best 12th place finish. Next came Greg LeMond, who embraced the Tour in 84 and finished third. The third American, Doug Shapiro, was hired by a Dutch team, and he finished 74th last year. Now comes the first American-based team. Out of the Wild West, they hail as a group of eager young trailblazers. The team is sponsored by a chain of American convenience stores and an Italian industrial dishwasher company. Here in this year's Tour de France, they've already been making headlines. Alex Stita won the Yellow Leaders jersey on day two, and although he lost it the same day, he was the first North American to wear that jersey. And then last Sunday, Davis Finney from Boulder, Colorado, became the first American to win a Tour de France road race. And then there's Eric Hyden, who would like to add a successful finish to his five Olympic gold speed skating medals. But their tour hasn't been easy. It's unbelievable how hard these races are. You know, there's all these guys that are going for it. And when they get out there, they work really hard. Uh, it's about 50% faster, 200% uh, longer, and 100% uh, harder. <laughs> There's nothing like it. It's unbelievable. It's really unbelievable. We haven't got to the hard part yet. <laughs> Uh, in other words, to describe it. After day eight, there was 